Welcome back to Empty Graves TV. Welcome back to the crypt. Today we are doing another music reaction. So you might remember Empty Graves from, from the interview that I did with them back in January. The world is ending. Like there was like a mix up oh, right yeah. when the song was being written. Yeah. I, I wrote maybe like, Oh, you don't have to do that? Oh. <laughs> um, for me... <laughs> song just slams. It's just so much fun. Especially the southern riff at the end. Just a cherry on top. Yeah. You gotta swing that thing over here. Yeah, I'll swing it all the way over. I'm not longer. Um, actually, here we go. We're gonna give you as much room as you can. I, I, I mean, I was fine where it was. I EQ'd it for the middle. Yep. I don't know if I answered your question. Yeah, no, totally. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. Did you know Abraham Rinkley was a pro wrestler? They are one of the bands that I've been anticipating new music from this year, and uh, they finally released it, and I have been so messed up in the head that I have not even listened to it yet. Um, so that is coming, but they did also release a new music video three weeks ago for the song Dog Pills, which has a very interesting story behind it. Um, and this is one of the things that I loved about Empty Graves. What hooked me to them originally was their, their song Baya because it was promoted as like an anti-capitalist anthem on TikTok. <laughs> also the song itself is just a total banger. And regardless of how you feel about systems and communism and socialism and capitalism and whatever, the whole world's fucked anyways. It's more so like fucked up our society is, period. And so like that really hooked me, that got my attention. The music for me is solid. And every, every song I've heard from them since has been like a banger in my opinion. The song Dog Pills, they do have a lot of different social commentaries on a lot of their songs, different stuff. Their song Witch Hunt, was actually an anthem for women because of the Roe v. Wade situation. So that's what inspired them to make that song, the overturning of Roe v. Wade. And they use the metaphor of like witches and witch hunts. I do say I am a warrior of the Lord, but it's like amongst hella murder. That must be the like only so thing that they <laughs> stick out. Amongst the woman murder part. Yeah, yeah, literally. And they're like, oh, praise the Lord. Love it, <laughs> love it. <laughs> Oh, fucking awesome like what's not to like about that you know what i mean like yes a lot of their songs have social commentary associated with them or like they're about different societal issues their song dog pills is a lot about like the medical system in the united states and there's a story behind it so the guitarist ben hey there i'm ben from soon to be possibly famous millennial core band empty graves uh, needed some pills, I don't know for what, um, but he was taking some sort of pills that he couldn't get because they were too expensive and he was like running out and he really needed these pills, right? And the, the vocalist, Brock, realized that his dog was taking the exact same pills as Ben and same dosage, same everything. So he basically ended up just like getting more prescriptions for his dog and then giving the pills to Ben because they were significantly cheaper, even though it was the exact same thing, exact same dose. And that's like kind of a crazy story. And that is medical care for you in the United States. A lot of times it's just impossible. And like, not just the US, all over the world. Like in Canada, they say it's better, but even though it's free, you have to like wait forever. So like pretty much, if you don't have money, regardless of where you live in the world, you're fucked. <laughs> Medically, that's what it seems like. So that is, I believe, what this song is about. So I have yet to listen to the full album. That is something that I want to slash need to do. But typically I just want to be like in a good space mentally to like absorb the new music. So I haven't listened to Empty Graves full album yet. 
and I haven't um, watched this music video. So let's watch the music video, react to the music video, and then later on we will maybe review the album together, but if not, I'll definitely be listening to it as soon as possible. Okay, so it's like from the jump banger, dude. Like, I already knew it was gonna be a banger. Like, literally, these guys do not miss, in my opinion. I love everything that they've put out so far. But one of the other things I absolutely love about this band, um, what, what they got my attention with, was just their, like, goofy slash fun vibes. Like, they really focus in on the fun. Like, they're... <sighs> They are like the dichotomy that I really like. They're very fucking serious. Like their their lyrics are very deep and their social commentary, but then they're fun. And like here, like that's why at first, <laughs> like from the jump, it made me laugh because like they're just in this pool with like this dinosaur floaty and that's, but then the music is so good. And then like, that's so on brand for them. <laughs> Okay, and Brock, we hear you. We know, like, we know Brock has been wanting to do, like, fast, um, kind of, you know, like, shotgun, I think is what they call shotgun vocals, which is basically, like, kind of like hip-hop vocals, but, like, screaming. So, we see you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I just noticed. I just noticed that Ben had the guitar in the pool. I don't know. That's like really funny. Ugh, sick of being sick. Sick of making choices like my health or pay the rent. I'm telling you, they're lyrics. They're lyrics. Sick of little kids who can't afford their medicine. Kids who can't afford their medicine. <laughs> and then this scene. Dude, what's not so, like, also, can I just point out, like, nowadays, it's easier to make music videos, right, like, than it was back in the day, but that said, still, they're, they're just so committed to what they do, and I have to respect the grind, I respect the hustle as well, so aside from the music being good, aside from the messages being, like, Ser like for real like they have real messages in their music aside from the fun dude they grind they grind so hard they're always like making new music they're always like they're making music videos and the production value is fucking incredible so like just props to them for that because even though we have all these resources at our disposal these days you still have to work hard to like get this shit done you know what i mean <laughs> Guitar in the pool. Of everything, that's what I want to know. few surprises coming up in the song and the video. So to finish watching, go on over to Empty Graves YouTube channel. You can see for yourself what the surprises are. Link in the description below. As a song, 
solid banger music lyrically from what I could understand there's like those gems you know uh, just solid work all around vocally guitar wise everything um, and everything I already said but <laughs> yeah definitely enjoyed the music video I'm looking forward to hearing the rest of the album when I'm like in the space to absorb that much newness because I would like to be present when I'm listening to new music from you know new music that I've really been looking forward to so that said that's it for today Go check out Empty Graves. Go stream their full album on Spotify. You can also find the full album on YouTube as well. Links in the description below. Go support those guys. They're awesome. And make sure you take care of yourself because it's the most important thing. And I will see you in the next video.